Hello everybody, Darren here, and welcome back to episode 10 in my second Let's Play series for Anno 1800. In the last episode, we optimized our glacial island in the Arctic and built up our investors to over 7,500, which allowed us to reach the second tier of our World's Fair. Today, we're going to be venturing to Enbasa to welcome our first elders to the region. But, before we go there, I had left off in the last episode having relocated and built up our engineer district. Now, you can see that I've largely vacated the area where they were before. I still haven't touched up the investors area. There's a good reason for that. I plan on building it up once we get um, more of the ornaments needed for kind of like building out a promenade and things like that. Now, once we get to 10,000 engineers, then I'll do a proper full layout. So not too far to go, but no point doing it up now if I'm just going to have to change it in, you know, a couple of episodes. Now, before I show you the engineer district, I've actually got a time lapse for what I did in between episodes and how we built it up. Let's begin. Alrighty, so for this time lapse, I didn't actually plan on doing it. I'll talk about that later, so I just won't mention it now. But because of that, it's a bit more experimental. I was really just playing around with layouts and seeing what I could kind of do. Here at the town hall, I actually started putting down those column ornaments and I was like, yeah, this fits really, really well with the town hall itself. You know, the archways complement the archways that are built into that town hall, as well as these kind of black flags that I placed around. And we got these from the World's Fair, all of these ornaments. Uh, so they fit really, really nice with the town hall. The ornaments really do feel like an extension of the town hall. You swear the building was actually bigger than it is because it really fits that well. As usual, grabbing the engineer households, just moving them over to where we need to, kind of that variety theater layout's really the same as it used to be. Here I'm just going for a more of a, again, experimenting around just like a, a blocky square with a fountain in the middle to see what that would kind of look like. And for the power, I shifted over the power plant, built a red brick wall around it, and had one of those kind of like steel walkways to kind of get over it for the workers that maybe go in there and do some maintenance or work in the oil power plant. A little shed and shack and tool shed and things like that for them to get at their tools. Over at the Variety Theatre, I didn't want to just be the exact same as we did before. So I instead opted for changing out that steel lighting fence for just actual individual city lights that have like these park benches next to them. And then I wanted to kind of put down some uh, dining seats. I put down, you'll see in a sec, I put down a drinks shack and then we have all these like table and chairs around it. So people are kind of, it's like a communal area in a way. Um, I think I could do it a little bit better. In fact, I actually think it might look better to have tables almost every single tile to really crowd it and make it feel like this is a grand open air restaurant area. Um, so yeah, we might get to that in the future. It might look cool. Uh, as you can see, I've moved the kind of playground and fountain area that we had before and put it over towards the bank and then just kind of separating the city away from the railway and then just deleting the old engineer section. Unfortunately, that clear water pond it's massive, so it kind of has to go. Now, I've actually got a grand vision for how I want this place to look, and it's starting to come together. So, a lot of what you see, as I always say, might get redone. We'll see. Alrighty, so that's how the current engineer district came to be. Now, I wasn't actually planning on doing a time lapse. You know, I was just sort of just fiddling around at the end of the last episode, placing some stuff around, seeing what kind of layouts I could go for in the next episode, this one. But then I just started actually committing to the build and I was like, oh, I should hit record, make sure I capture it. And I'm actually really happy with what we've got now. It's a lot more uniform than it was before, but it's not like a rigid grid structure. There's definitely wasted space, quote unquote, wasted space, you know, space that we can make things look a little nicer. So I like here inside the university grounds, if you will, we have the gears of the era. The artist's intention was to encapsulate the spirit of the Industrial Revolution. I think it's kind of a fitting ornament to place in here. And then there's just a duck pond, because <laughs> it looks nice. Uh, so I'm really happy with how that kind of has turned out. Then we have a town hall in here wrapped around by engineer households as well. Um, I noticed that the town hall actually comes with one of these flags, but I got Your one of them as an ornament. From its boy. So I decided to kind of, um, what's the word? Complement it, yeah. Complement that flag with another one here, and then kind of complement this thing with one of these. So these are like special ornaments that we've gotten from the World's Fair, uh, as is this billboard here. So I think I've I think I've kind of laid that out in a pretty nice way. And then of course they have the um, sort of columns that dress the set around here, giving it that sort of ornate governmental uh, style feel to it. I'm thinking about it, actually, I'm gonna have to dedicate time to do the palace. I still haven't thought of where that's gonna go yet. I was kind of thinking that'll probably end up in Crown Falls. We should get around to that at some point. <laughs> uh, no one's really been bringing it up in a while, though, so... Um, other than that, you know, like I said, it's kind of more uniform. Excuse me. 
and it's a bit more blocky here, but obviously this is then going to break things up in a big way. And if we can fit any extra along this way, then I'll try to do that as well. But really happy with how it's turned out. Uh, the bank is just a little bit short at reaching the very far corner here. Just a little bit. What are we at? 92. So it's like two grids, uh, two squares away, I think. You'll notice that light bulbs are a bit of a struggle right now, but I've invested over here. And once I get this building built, another filament factory, we should be fine. Yeah, so they're just missing filaments at the moment, but with that extra filament factory, they should be fine. So long story short about what's going on over here is um, I just put down an extra light bulb factory. If we build up our docklands to get to... I can't remember exactly how much. Oh, yeah, actually, we can do it right now. Oh, we must have done it already, did we? Oh, yeah. All oh, right, we just did it. So... I'm a bit confused, actually. Sorry. Sorry. Um, did we take in tallow? Oh, we did. Yeah, okay. Oh, wow, that must have been like nine minutes ago. God, I must have been idling or something. Um, so essentially, we didn't have tallow before. Or sorry, we didn't have filaments unlocked before. We had to um, import 2205 tallow. And I guess we did it all in just one go. Yeah, I guess so. Wow. We must have just barely fit that in there. Anyway, so we have that tallow. So now... I can just import filaments and actually get rid of those previous buildings. So I can actually just get rid of that right away. Um, I'm not sure how many filaments we're going to be needing. So let's actually try to work it out. Because I haven't really showed like my thought process when I'm doing that kind of thing. So we have 6 to 6 at the moment. So 6 tons per minute. So if I was able to just replace all of those buildings, that would be a, a treat. should really pause them before I uh, delete them because you never know. Um, so that will be, yeah, so 6 tons per minute times 20. 120 tons per minute and then give it a little bit of leeway just in case of you know the time to travel the time to load and unload Let's say 140 that's 164 gold so big question is can we sustain that level of uh, gold? You know can we ship out that much gold and still be okay with it? I think we can I think we can it's hard for me to tell normally we could just check production chains But because I'm buying the gold from the pirates it's a lot more irregular and it's hard to track you could probably look up, like, well, even then, I'd have to know, like, the exact time the ships are traveling to the New World and traveling down to Anne Harlow, etc. So I'll just go by feel alone. You know, after a couple of trades, we'll see if gold is rising or falling and adjust based on that. But that frees up a lot of engineer workforce. And in fact, that would allow us to just get more smelting going, should we wish. So not a big deal there. The only other thing I built here in between sessions would be the, um, I put down another brass smeltery because we were loading up on zinc and copper more than I could get through we, we were overproducing but not only that the Arctic was actually suffering from a slight shortage of brass and I kind of caught it just before it became a problem so hopefully that um hopefully that fixes everything up I should really do a tour of this place at some point in the future and just like talk about exactly what's been made where and how it all works but um obviously if, if you've been here from the very very beginning uh, you kind of been here for the journey and you know um, I think that's pretty much it. Do I need to... I was thinking actually now of importing tallow as well, because we could actually now just get rid of the workforce that's working on that, you know? We don't really need it if we can just import tallow instead and make soap from that. Soap is uh, going to be our most exported good soon, so that's kind of neat. Um, hmm. So what can we get rid of? Guns? Steel beams. Wow, we have a lot. It's the first time I've seen over a thousand of them. We've been so short on steel for such a long time. It's nice to see it there, really. Just trying to think. We seem to have an over excess of wool. Could we just trade one for the other, perhaps? Uh, not really at a good exchange rate. Sorry, I probably should have looked at this in bef uh, before episode before the episode began. But uh, I think I'm fine with it. Yeah, I think we'll just leave it. And if we have an excess of gold further still, then I'll invest into that. The alternative. How much? It is engineers that make gold. Hmm. Alright, go on then. We'll slam, slam down another goldsmith. Making excess gold. Whoops, wrong screen. And then we'll use our docklands just to get rid of the... Uh, to bring in tallow. And then we can get rid of all the um, tallow production. So again, I have to look up how much tallow we make right now. It's an intermediate. 16 tons per minute. It's quite a lot, but it's obviously not a crazy valuable good. I'm just going to break out a calculator really quickly. 20 times 16. 
is 320, so again, a bit of a, gr <clears throat> bit of a grace amount. We'd have about 340 uh, for some gold, which is again an intermediate. Oh, sorry, wrong way around. We need to go on this side. There we go, 58. That's perfect. Brilliant. It's not that much at all. Well, is it perfect? I guess the question would be, are we even producing that amount um, in this building? Probably not. How long does it take? 30 seconds to make one, so two every minute. And then into 20 minutes. Yeah, it's not quiet. Well, it's close, but not quiet. But maybe we'll be fine. We'll, again, I'll go by feel on that one. But the good news is, as we start exporting more and more gold, of course, we will level it up. So we've just reached export volume. Oh, wow, we've already done a thousand. Is it bugged? Because we don't have the number four next to it. Let's pop it up here for a second. Someone's been promoted up the batting order. Oh, it is. It does say level four. And now it says four right there. Oh, maybe it only says it when you actually put, put it in. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, does the export volume halt? It says next export level 1,000, 1,000. Oh, maybe it does. I thought you could build it up to level two without even having to have it in its previous slot. Oh, yeah, we'll definitely put that here now then. I want this place to have all the bonuses. See, the thing is, it's shared between islands. So, unless maybe fur could go in there as well? Because canned goods probably don't need to be there. I'm not selling canned goods anymore. Sorry, this is so micromanaging and tedious, I guess, but... I mean, I enjoy it. <laughs> um, oh, I've been saying for a long time. I wonder how much gas is worth. Let's see. Let's just put in a very bottom tier good, like potatoes. That is awful. That is awful. Are you kidding me? One gas for one, for two potatoes? Not, e not even two potatoes? Are you kidding me? That's insane. How can you do that to me? Gas. One of the most difficult things to get in the game, pretty much. That's ridiculous. Anyways. Um, hmm. Oh, I've kind of lost my train of thought now, if I'll be honest. I was going to put something else in. Oh, he's going to get rid of the canned goods. Because we're definitely not selling canned goods anymore. So we want to specialize in something else here at Lusk. What's it going to be? I have no idea what it should be. We're getting rid of gold. We're getting rid of veneers, steel, steam motors. Did we reach that amount with steam motors yet? That'd be good to know. Seven, eight, nine. So no, not yet. All right, I'll just leave it as is then. Cool. Well, at least now this can go up to 2,500, I assume. I guess it couldn't do that before because it's locked at 1,000, yeah. Assume that's the case. At least uh, now that being is a bit of uh, it's a bit of a better deal, so we can use less of it for the same import amount. Good. All right, anyway, a bit of a distraction. Um, but yeah, I think now we're just going to go to Mbessa and work over there. The very last thing I've done in between episodes is we are running a new World's Fair. Oh, it's done. It was actually, I switched it to a science ex exhibition. I didn't switch it, I ran another one after we got the previous one. So, I've never done this before. This is uh, 7,500. I mean, I've hit 10,000 investors before, but the World's Fair didn't used to work like this where you can actually choose, so it's still a bit different. Uh, machines. So let's see what kind of machine. High-end equipment. Let's do machines. See what we get. The palace was always so nice because you can add a thing that gives you four items instead of three. Uh, nice. So two, two um, epics. Let's see. So mechanized glass blower affects glass makers, light bulb factory, and lantern smith. I mean, that's kind of actually what we need, considering um, we're struggling for glass. Oh really? You're as naughty as the Let's children. see. Affect all brick factories and concrete. Mickleton's hydraulic compacting Don't press, and workforce it's is reduced. Everywhere. And then uh, Teutonic Technical Secateurs. Affects the Lumberjack Huts, Charcoal Kiln, Hunting Cabin, and Wanza Woodcutter. Wanza Woodcutter? No, oh, you could take it with us. Nah, I'll probably never... I don't think I'd ever use any items on construction material. Which is funny, because I'm always short on construction material, but still. Uh, so, to run the next one, Architectural Marvels again, Science and Innovation, Archaeology and Ethnography. Ethno ethnography. Botany Horticulture. I'm going to go again with Architecture, and we're just going to grab, again, more nice items. What do we need? We got it all, we got it all, we got it all. Great. Alrighty. Looking good. So that's just going to run and run in the background. Our households are happy here. We'll be monitoring things and see, like, if this this is fluctuating a lot more. I don't like it. I think that's it's I think it's still the light bulb issue. 
Oh my days, it's steam carriages. How can that be? Oh yeah, we do have more of them. Sorry, I gotta fix this. Can't have that issue. We are producing twice as much as we need, although production is halted. So let's find out why. Is this the steam carriage building? You have your steam motors, but you don't have your chassis. Ah, oh, of course. Of course, of course. I cut all the wood production away. So that's a very easy problem to fix, thankfully. Um, so let's see. Wood can just come in directly in this way. And that way we can save on space big time. Uh, we're probably bringing in way too much... Why is it 440? Oh, because we brought this up here. God damn it, everything changes. I had it all adjusted to the fine amounts, but it when you level something up, it just gives you more back for the same amount. I wish it would do it the other way. Like, import the same amount and, give, and cost me less, if that makes sense. I wish you could set that as a setting. Alright, sorry, bear with me. <laughs> I just want to find out on, again, on the tallow. It was something like 340, wasn't it? Yeah, because it's 16. A renowned personage has arrived. So 340, so let's just list it as 340. For filaments, filaments are a bit different. We had three of those buildings. Filaments, six, six times 20, 120. Uh, so 140 is basically what we need on that. But we're saving on gold. We're just reducing the amount of gold we're using, basically. This needs to go down to 400. And, whew, can't remember on glass. Check, check that one as well. Feels good, though, to actually specialize in these in these goods. All right, 22 is the demand. So 22 times 20. Oh, God, I'm after opening my camera <laughs> on my phone. I feel like an old man. So 20 times 22 is 440. Let's round it up to 450. Let's round it up even further. 480. Just to have a bit more a than we need. Island anyway, is under sea. now that we've saved all that gold, in a way, um, we could maybe toss in a little more. Actually, what about something like goulash? Oh my days. Yes. So, here's how we can really quick. There's only 30 seconds to go, so we have to do this quick, quickly. Intermediate goulash. We're only making oh, barely one extra... Not even, so like half an extra every minute. So we could say in 20 minutes, maybe we make 10 extra. So let's see if we can just sell 10. So that must have been trickling up very slowly over time. But that does bring in 91 wood. And then the chassis, <laughs> there's so much to check. It's great that we have a statistics screen, we didn't always. Uh, the demand for it is two, and we're actually making some wood. So it's 10. Oh, it actually kind of works out. That works out. Hopefully that all works just fine. Maybe we'll just be a little cheeky and raise it to something like, I don't know, 14. So we have a little bit of extra. All right. And that's Docklands. <laughs> um, I actually really do have fun messing around with that because it's nice to figure out that balance. Um, and hopefully now when the shipment arrives of filaments, all the light bulb factories will kick into gear and our money should fly back up, back to where it used to be, uh, closing in around 50k. Um, so he should arrive. Let's just wait till he gets here and find that see that final shipment come in. Have a nice little zoom in. Enjoy the sights and sounds of Anno. 1800. Careful. That's an awfully big wake. <laughs> just like, oh my I god, did he just, did it just like go over one of the others? Alright, nice. Alright, with that trade done, uh, let's have a look. We should see... Filaments is now at 111, so hopefully that's enough for 22 minutes, or 20 minutes, that should be fine. And we've actually leveled up a bit, we have room for... Oh no we don't, we haven't, I thought we had. Oh, I guess we're full on the modules, we're, we've used every module we can. We've got lots of empty sockets for module items though in the harbour. I guess we could just speed up harbour activity or something, I'm not really too sure what else we could get, other than just making cheaper ships. Anyways, let's go to Enbessa, Bessa, Bessa. Let's get rid of all this. I guess anything we had excess is just thrown overboard or thrown out there. So we now have 1950 storage. Still quite a lot of storage. Are we good? Good. Alright, so that's running. All this is, should be fine. Light bulbs should be fixed now in future. And ships should already be in Embassa. Boom.
All right, welcome back. So we are here in episode one of this second season, and we built up this little village just here. Now, we built up the maximum amount we can have. Um, or so, no, not really, sorry. We, we fully met the demands of all the shepherds here, and then we want to get elders, right? So for elders, we have to start doing some upgrades, but I want to do some just, I guess, just build out and do some nice layouts. I'm really, really happy with how this place looks. And we have two production buildings, actually. In the world of finance. We have two production um, buildings, actually, a little bit closer up there. I wonder, could we move one of these further in at some point? Like, here would fit really nicely, actually. Yeah, let's do that. The is a Just to make the town look a little nicer, I guess. There's tea by Yeah, it's just whatever for whatever reason, I really like the dry house the, the look of the dry house building. I just think it fits really nicely with this place. It's gonna rotate this around. And then um, we can look at the ornaments and make a bit more of a market feel to the front here. So there's some tents and things like that. There maybe some we've already got barrels. Away camp. Yes, perfect. And uh little fountain thing. A narrow shadiet. Yeah, loving it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Alright, sweet. Um, the other thing we could be building as well, maybe, or maybe I should have done that instead, is the town hall. Oh, we can't get one yet. Alright, well, that's okay. Alright, sweet. Um, so, yeah, we've got plus 23 in the workforce. Everything's stable as far as I, I'm aware. We only have stuff on this island, so we can just directly see what we've got. Hibiscus tea demand is one, and we're not providing any. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah, I never made hibiscus. Oh, so we've got everything else, just not hibiscus. Well, they never had a problem here. Guess they don't need it. Happiness and coins. We'll get more gold for it. Uh, so, yeah, let's tuck that house in there. Let's tuck this one in here, and let's get the road to feed in a little bit. Something like that. But then... This is almost like a second town now that's going to be out this side. And we have our ones of, ones of wood. We've got plenty of construction material now. Just trying to think, could that road go up the back? I guess it could. Or we could just do it like this. Yeah. Cool. Sweet. Nice. So, there are quests to do in Ambassa, but what I want to do first is, um, before we get working on Binyam's vision, and the three hearts is one. I want to just build up and get a couple of elders going, and then we can start the production chains, or start the quest chains. I kind of see what we need from there. At least that way we're a bit more prepared. Um, because often it'll just, it, often it'll, the quest will just end up saying like, get to like a thousand elders anyway, you know? So, just watching my num uh, money tumble down and tumble back up as we um, lose and make different things. Just gonna get a few of these either side there. But yeah, this is going to be a nice, chilled, just a nice, chilled, relaxing build episode, you know? And we could pave. Oh, yeah, we don't make mud bricks right now. We need elders to actually make them. Uh, the reason, some people ask me, how'd you get mud bricks, you know, before you got elders? It's because in the previous season of this Let's Play, we did visit Enbasa, and we did get to Elders. We just got just to Elders, and then we made some mud bricks. And then I realized, like, oh, we should do a second season where we do just all the DLC. So I wiped the slate clean with this. So I haven't. We never did any of the quests or anything. So it's basically all just just fresh. Um, the only difference is, yeah, when you arrive, you know, Emperor Katima welcomes you and he gives you this island, and that's pretty much all we've missed. Um, so hopefully, nothing too bad. Yeah, let's just finish off the ornaments in this area here. So let's see. This house has a road out that way. But there's a bit of an entrance here. So I guess just regular, just sand would be fine there. And maybe a tree. So sort of like they made that path themselves. I'll just continue this out. So that's actually a warehouse supplying this one and this one. Again, I, I just like it. I like having some production buildings in the towns. I just think it looks nice. I think it looks great. 
And uh, these guys are full up, full up on storage. Actually, I was meant to check. So we have loads of goat milk, loads of finery, and loads of dried meat. So we are totally fine production-wise. The only thing we're lacking right now is hibiscus. Um, but that's okay. So we're already ready to upgrade. These guys are all good to go. But we need a... How? Oh, yeah. I guess I'll just have to commit to it and then see what we see, need afterwards. It turned out good for both of us. So let's welcome our first elder here and see what they need. Oh, wait, can't actually. We have to wait till they fully grow. And they're too far from the market. All right, I'll just get an elder here and we'll see what they need. Boom. So there we go. So they're going to need a monastery. Glasses. All right. Clay pipes, tapestries, hibiscus, and access to the musician's court. And that's on the happiness scale. On the needs, they need ceramics. Seafood stew, lanterns, and illuminated script. So basically what I wanted to know was what do they need in proximity? The only extra thing they need in proximity is a monastery. The Lord made each monastery. Part. I don't know how big a monastery is. I'm going to look it up. So I'm just going to zoom in real quick. I don't want to pause it. I'll just zoom in, quickly look up on like the Anno Discord or something. Or sorry, not the, the Anno uh, 1800 wiki. How big is a monastery? And then... 1800 wiki because if I know the size then at least I can build with that in mind for the future um, basically all right monastery so it is six by seven six by seven all right cool oh I didn't check how many tiles it is yeah I kind of need to know that as well I guess but that's eh, fine as long as I know it's six by seven I think we'll I think I'll be okay. You know what? I say that. I am going to look it up. I need to look it up, don't I? Bear with me. Hey, we're over 50k again. That's good. That noise, by the way, is me opening my browser. It plays that little noise for whatever reason. Uh, so. It's... This range is... Oh, it's just... The wiki hasn't had the entry yet. It says range question mark with a paved road. Ah, I guess it doesn't have the answer for me then. Oh, well. We'll just have to go by feel. And then uh, work it out later. So six by seven. So it's if we just outline that with ornaments. So it's four, five, six. Oh, that seems big. That can't be right, is it? It seems really big. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So tuck it in one. And then we have. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh yeah, I was just, I guess I didn't count the um, actual area I was using. So I'm just gonna use, well, we can make it almost look like a construction thing, couldn't we? Just lots of barrels. <laughs> barrels for everybody. Yeah, whatever. Let's just do that, a bit of a building site. Kind of. So that's where the monastery, that's the size of it, and that's where it will go, or where we need to bring it. So the reason I'm doing that is because I could just copy it and be like, yep, monastery, that's the size of it. Now I know when I'm building the city, and I want the elders to be kind of out here. So um, these are probably all going to stay the way they are, and then out here we'll try to have elders. So I'm just going to copy this away from here. Boop. And get rid of that. All right. Now we'll just do the old time lapse and just do the, the way we typically build. Just before I begin it though, I think our World's Fair might be done. It's done in a minute 30, so I'll wait for that to be done. So we'll just start building. Oops, wrong place. We'll just start building right now. Um, and the way I always do this, it's always kind of the same, is to push up against the cliffs as much as possible where we can. Hey. Oh yeah, I guess it can't fit that way. It looks like it could. Make use of all that space. We'll leave the gap there, that's okay. Well, they need road access, so there we go. Just thinking about it, I don't know the composer for this game, but the music is really good, I think, anyway. A competitor's island and I'm often really, an attack. really finicky with like music in games. If, if some games don't have good music, like I almost can't even play them. Something like that, and then that road feeds in this way. So 
So obviously having something like the monastery at the center of this place would look kind of cool. So maybe just right around here. Hopefully that gives it full range to get down to that little area. Don't think I... Do we want to wall it off? Maybe. What kind of walls do we have? We have a fencing ornament, I think, right? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it might look good to wall it off. Or even with a wall of flower beds or something. Finally, it's over. Finally. What do we get? So, something like that. Cool. So, that's where the monastery is going to go. Alright, let's have a look. So, I kept going with refined architecture. That seems to give us the World's Fair stuff. So I'll go with antique landscaping, see what that gives us instead. Uh, so lots more arches and columns and some fountain stuff. Okay, that's alright I guess. I'm just going to keep running those because we're going to use a lot of it. I have this grand vision for how I'm going to do the investor area. Nothing too crazy, but I just want one of these like nice long promenades and houses either side and stuff. I think it'll look really nice. Um, and it'll feed pretty much straight up to the World's Fair. So this big long strip that starts maybe about halfway up here. Houses either side and things like that. And then have kind of big open areas as well. That's kind of something I want to... I think will look really nice to have these big low open areas interspersed with all this. Right now, our districts are so separated right now. Oh, also what's wrong with the... We've run out of cabins. Run out of flour. How could you run out of flour? don't understand how that's even possible. You've got grain. I've never changed these amounts, so how could that change? Bread's fine. Hmm. They've got it now. Yeah, weird. I don't know. I guess they're a little short. I don't know how I made that mistake. Whatever. It's just one of the many little mini problems that we get in this game. Uh, I was going to upgrade these back to where they were. So the consumption rates are the same. So yeah, I was going to say, we're so segmented. Uh, segmented? Yeah, segmented or broken apart or whatever. Separated? Separated is probably the best word from each other. It's, it's kind of funny. But I guess that's, that's class divide for you. Um, but yeah, it'd be nice to have like all the artisans like really make their way up here. And we'll use artisans, I think, a lot more when we finish Mbessa. Because I think a lot of the chains required for the scholars require um, artisans to work their chains. I don't know if that sentence made any sense. I think I just said the same thing twice. But yeah, basically the building chain, the production chains require artisans to make those like leather boots and things like that. So probably like to get that here. I was thinking like, oh, university will probably end up going or the resources will probably end up going in Crown Falls. But I think I will end up putting it here. I'm just still a little undecided about where the scholars are going to go. I mean, we could have a big campus out this side, maybe at the back of the mountain or something. And honestly, this area can just go. We'll, we'll move it somewhere else. It's just the schnapps. That works. So, you know, if we copied this entire area, the old St. James's Gate out here, it would fit just fine, pretty much. It would just be a schnapps distillery, make it a little smaller, I guess. We don't need the malt or the beer anymore. And then out here, we'll have all this room for a really nice big scholar in one of your uh, area. I know it's a bit weird. I think it's a bit weird anyway, being across from like grain farms and stuff. But again, I'll see your comments after this episode. I really look forward to seeing what people think generally about just the aesthetic i know practically it doesn't make sense but the aesthetic i think will look really nice and this is like a nice big flat big area for the scholar for the university kind of campus off of the engineers so i think that'll look good i think so anyway it's either that or put them like somewhere here like we had before depending on how much space we get after the investors i'm not looking to mega build once i get 10,000 investors i'm kind of done because uh, that's all you need them for you don't need any more unless we really needed more influence i guess uh, so we'll see, we'll see. Alright, let's get back to Mbesa. Um, so yeah, will I time-lapse this? Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Let's time-lapse just filling this area out. Let's begin. Alright, nothing too crazy about this particular little village. Obviously the monastery is the, the kind of focal point of it. Uh, but it's largely just going to kind of follow the same pattern as the city or the other part of the city up in the top right. Now I've got, not to be a tease, but I've got some grand designs now. Now, after having watched back my own time lapses here, as I mentioned before, I've got some good ideas, I think, of what we're going to do in the future. For this place, my overall goal is going to be to feed in canals that wrap around the monastery and have lovely big tall trees either side of it and flower beds, really make it look like a sacred place of worship. But unfortunately, that's not going to happen for a while. We're going to have to really build this island up before I get to enact that vision. 
And uh, for the eagle-eyed viewers out there, let's see if you can spot the key building that I forgot to place down in this time lapse. I don't realize it for a while. Um, but a cookie, for those who do. <laughs> Alrighty, so that's basically the end of the time lapse right there. Uh, so basically just built it pretty similar to how I built it over there, you know, trying to make some cul-de-sacs around the musician's courts, trying to have enough space for kind of ornaments and walls that can go around things like the monastery and the uh, police stations and stuff like that. I don't actually have access to a town hall, so I think it's the same size as it normally is. But um, I'm just going to add them in afterwards and see where they can go. Again, with the hospital, it's the same sort of thing. They'll probably need a bit of redevelopment later on down the line, but for now, as I always say, it's fine. <laughs> uh, right, so let's get building. So the first things I want to get going with is the musician's courts. And then we can add the houses. It's going to put a lot of demand on us, initially. Wow, we've quite a lot of um, wands of wood. I didn't think I'd be able to build it all. Sweet. Alright, nice. Uh, so yeah, let's just connect this for now with this, like this. Actually, we could just cut a road straight through, why not? Um, and we'll just have to see in a moment. I'll just speed it up, see if I've missed any houses without a road. I don't think so. Looks good to me. Looks good to me. Alright, so let's check our consumption rates. Uh, we are now still producing more goat milk than we need. We also still have more finery than we need and dried meat, so we're totally fine. The next thing would be, I guess, hibiscus. Um, so, hibiscus, we have the fertility for it here. We start with it. So, let's get cracking on that. Once these guys start to level up, we can also then make them elders properly. The garden, but where? I'll just move that back down to where they were. So, yeah, filling up nicely. All right, so hibiscus. Uh, the other thing we'd want to get is clay. Can we get that already? Mud bricks and teff grass. No teff farms on the island. Wow. Uh, a brick dry house. So what I'll probably end up doing is trying to connect all these things together. And that way we get the maximum amount of coverage that we can. Kind of easier said than done though. So we're at 146 out of 250. So if we were to feed this along here... Now we should have 500, and if we connect it to that one, obviously we'll have 750. That just gives us a bit more flexibility with where to move things. Um, now we've all this dry area here. I'm kind of leaving that for the eventuality of needing even more production buildings in here. So this could be a nice production area. Maybe we could get a trade union or something as well. Would that be possible? Yeah, it might not be a bad shout, as they say, to get one of these in here probably replace one of these buildings and squeeze more out of them. Yeah, let's just move that for now over here and we could get a trade union down right there. I actually don't recall ever really looking at one of these. Looks cool. Not going to commit to the build just yet, but yep. Nice. And then the only other one we could get is probably like over here if we wanted to. Alright. Um, so... Hibiscus. So hibiscus tea. We need a hibiscus farm and then a tea spicer. 15 and 35. So 50 in total needed for this production chain. One to one. Oh, it's not one to one though. It's one minute to one minute 30. Oh. I hate those things. <laughs> I hate when it does that. Uh, all right, though. Let's um, get this to go on this way. Cut across there. That gives us, uh, for keeps our fertility on this side in case we want to put a farm or some extra kind of modules down if we wanted more goat farms or something it's like that. Oh, uh, Tomorrow's Time World. Well architectural exhibition ends and financial powerhouse. As delicious architectural pageant. Pageant? I don't know. Closes in swords. Designers and planners everywhere wax poetic over the event. Quote, a triumph of modern collaborations. And quote, a treasure trove for planners. Civic inspiration. Alright, great. Still haven't ever used propaganda this playthrough. Not once. <laughs> Who needs it? Who needs it? I say. So this little bit of dry area is actually perfect for starting off our farms. Um, so let's do that. So hibiscus farm. 
somewhere there. Might be a good idea. I'm trying to think if this is a good idea or not, or should it just come up next to it? I think typically next to it's always is is better. Let's just make this look a little bit nicer. Eh? Turn off blueprint. Um, okay, so 144. So we need to decide where the warehouse is going to go. So somewhere like here might be good, or we could probably fit it in there. Somewhere like here is pretty minimal in terms of uh, overlapping the fertility. And I'm not very good at math, as you might know already. So a minute 30 and a minute. So we can build three of these for one of for two of these. Is that correct? I think so. So three farms to two tea spicers. We'll see how that goes. So a tea spicer there, and maybe we'll just get another one like right here. If I do it like that, we can actually curl the road around the non-fertilized area. I always say fertilized. It's irrigated. I should get better with that. And, uh, yeah, this can go into that warehouse. Okay. So, good. So, we did say we need three. So, let's get a third one just here and try to maximize that bit of space as well if we can. Nice. Is this all the same thing? Hibiscus farm... Oh, no, I went with tea spices. Whoops. Same size as this. Not a big deal. Good. Alrighty, let's begin. Um, so we'll have to start with this one first, as this one's the one on the inside. I'll just get it to cover up to there and up to there. Nice. nice little tree is always good to put down so you know that um, your fertility doesn't work there or whatever. Your irrigation. You're not irrigated. Fill that in now. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to think, should I have left room for a trade union? Hmm. I think a trade union would actually hit them if it was right here. We could just do one of these jobs. Pop it over there. Pop a trade union here. That'll cover all three farms. And if we have any more farms, we'll also hit them. So yeah, that's a good place for a trade union, I think. Right outside the warehouse as well. Kind of makes sense. I'm um, so happy with that. So in our production zone, we'll move back over and get the tea spicer. And oh, they're tiny, yeah. Of course, we just saw them. Maybe we'll just one, two, well, just two, right? I think that's all we needed. And it's a bit of a temporary measure, I guess. So just leave it like that for now until we feel like we need to move it and compress space or if we get a trade union that we know that we can use. So we'll commit to those two. Beautiful. All right, hibiscus is flowing. Should see our money come up just slightly. Beautiful. Oh, did I actually build the trade union? I did. Do we have any items that we could use? Affects an apiary, a sanga farm, all production buildings. Maintenance costs reduced. These are timed ones. Animal farms. So, I've actually brought two airships with me. Fleet awaiting orders. So we can always be over at Emperor Katima's and ready to go. Our um, Great Eastern is here as well. And of course, we've already settled other islands. So we have this one, this one, 
And this one. So we have every fertility we need. We're all ready to go. Feels good, man. Alright, let's see how many of these guys we can upgrade. So what's the deal with hibiscus now? Wow, it's actually not enough. Even all that. So we're gonna need another three... Oh, excuse me. Gonna need another three farms. Well, I guess it makes sense to... Well, I say that. We could just get items that maybe pump out more. But when we get elders, I guess we're going to need more anyway, right? So maybe one there. And this road can connect them like that. We don't have to always go in groups of three. But I guess it would be kind of ideal. You could have two and just one extra T-Spicer. Yeah, I think something like that would be good, and that way we get to make use of the natural terrain. We have the workforce for it, certainly. Just want to check the uh, irrigation again. No, that's okay. So, to make this look somewhat more presentable, let's get some barrels in there. And... Bushes, a tree at the corner of the road. Always put them at the. I always put them at the corner of the roads. Yeah, something like that. Okay, cool. So, what's your problem? Missing a hibiscus field? I don't think so. I don't think so. Let's be careful, we don't want to uh, ruin that other one. And we'll just have this go all along down the river, basically. Not sure what's going to happen here. I might have to leave space for, I guess, a bridge at some point. Yeah, we'll probably just need to um, start canaling the area up a bit further. With you as nurse, I knew they'd get well soon. Because otherwise it gets a bit ridiculous. Um, hmm. I think something like that might work out better then. Get rid of this. And if we feed the canal down, down here. It's not really worth bringing all the way in there. It's only worth doing it a little bit. Okay. What the hell? I can't delete this. Okay, good. Let's just bring it down to like the halfway mark. So if you hold Alt... It does place on dry soil. Okay, good. Let's get this one now that it's inside. This has to go all the way around here. So that's 95 out of 144. There we go, 144. So this can now just... You know, I'm sure I'm ch I'll change around the canals and... Fertilize the place even further. <laughs> fertilize. Irrigate the soil even further, eventually, but it's all good. Yeah, looks good. Alright, um, so with those extra three, we can get another two of these. They're all completely done. The canals are flowing. Awesome. Right, so we should have hibiscus coming out of our anus um, at the moment. Goat milk is just about even, but we have loads of room for more. So yeah, hibiscus is great. Alright, so that means we can start the upgrades and hopefully not stress out the economy too much. Now, what's the matter? So wonderful. Oh my god, I forgot to build a market. 
Oh my days. I can't believe I forgot to build a market. Wow, I don't think I've ever done that before. Wow, bizarre. So, what if it was right here? How far would it reach? Could have it somewhere here next to the, um... Yeah, that would actually kind of look nice next to the musical square or whatever. Sure. Why not? Uh, maybe instead of removing these guys, we'll just move them. Let's put them in a line here. I can't believe I forgot to build a market. I don't think I've ever done that. Uh, I kind of liked it where it was a bit of a cul-de-sac, so let's do it like this, and that's fine. We can have stuff out the front, like tents and canopies. I had to break it all. We couldn't appreciate how important funds are for our culture. Yeah, it's cool. Nice. All right, well, hopefully, yeah, I guess down here is going to be a bit rough for market, but we we'll, might probably have another one out that way. Uh, and I say probably, I mean, we will. I guess we'll have to. Might see how far we can really bring it and still hit that road. Oh my god, to get full coverage, we have to go... We actually can't. Can't even get full coverage here. Damn. It's, um, like, it'll be 95%, basically. And then for here, it's even further in. It's even worse. Yikes. Okay, then. Bit of a redraw, I guess. Um, so let's move this over here. I built everything around that monastery. Now, does elder do elders need a market? Yeah, they do. Crazy, even this, I'm, I'm basically looking at this road. Even this doesn't hit all the way. It like has to be in the very, oh, I know what I could do though, paved roads. Paved roads. Okay, let's pave the roads of the furthest out areas, I guess. And that way we'll get the best idea of what we can actually cover. These, all these little hidden away areas. This should give us a good, a good idea of what we can actually reach. Okay. Let's just do this and this. And then it's not paved here. Alrighty. So let's see what we got now. Full market coverage. Love to see it. Love to see it. What about down here? No. But that's okay. We can obviously get a market in somewhere on the side. I shouldn't have destroyed it so hastily. But yeah, if we were to just even... like that and this will be a temporary market until we can move it further and further out it looks like around there it's good so that should be full coverage so I'm just gonna speed up time and let these guys get ready to upgrade that should be the last thing they need nice we can start the upgrades now let's do this block first there we go elder out of our minds a letter from my son so they're gonna need him. ceramics it's not been Ceramics needs clay, an indigo, a ceramics workshop. Now, you could probably just bring ceramics, uh, I mean, clay down here, right? I never did that before. I always just got it off the rivers. But I feel like you're supposed to kind of bring it from another session rather than make it here. That's the way it's supposed to work. Now, indigo isn't on this island. It's on Zula Bilen. Is it on any of the others? And it's also on Strath Rancor. <laughs> And this needs honey, which is, yeah, that's a tough one Or for the apiary. I'm just trying to think which island should I go with uh, in terms of getting the indigo. Probably this one. Excuse me, yeah, probably this one. It's got a lot more um, fertility available. 
I think um, we should also get a couple of ships ready. I mean, I could just use airships, but I think I'll, I'd like to use some cargo ships still. So let's uh, make one in our awesome Docklands. Uh-oh. Lacking steam motors. Of course, we are selling steam motors in our docks. Let's just turn that off for now. Although we do kind of need jewelry, <laughs> thinking about it. But we'll leave it for just a while. I need to kind of build up just a bit more. What is the trade history on that, actually? No existing trade history? There was, though. Oh, no. Because I've removed it, I guess I can't see anymore. It's a shame. So this is consistent. That's totally fine. That's been consistent. This is consistent since I changed it. So is this. So is that. Yeah, so at least that's all good. The tallow isn't. We must have been full, so full up on tallow it didn't even happen. And the filaments are fine as well. Okay. Well, that's good. Tobias is about to arrive. Only our reporting um, I think I have... Yeah, I mean, I could... Oh, this is my trade ship, actually. I shouldn't use this one. But I do have steam motors, like, in this island. So... And I have an airship here. Let's go just grab these ones. We have 46. Yeah, we'll just grab all them, bring them down, queue up another ship being made. I could actually just make a ship here, couldn't I? It's technically more expensive here. We should use our new docks. If we're going to use them properly. Also, I don't know if it's worn off, but in a trade union here, or in the town hall... Yeah, I'm using uh, rabies vaccine. It's actually given us 20% more residents, so we don't have quite as many engineers as I'm letting on. It's boosting us. You reach the limit so we have 48 the per household, as opposed to 40 regularly. So we might go into a bit of shock after they're gone. After that rabies vaccine wears off. Rather frighteningly. So let's just speed it up. We'll let this uh, ship get up there, pick up those steam motors, and then bounce. Funny, I just this minute came through the door myself. I bet you did. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. I'm Do you have any? With no. All right. Give me them steam, stem motors. Do these as well. Might as well take the advanced weapons because they're going to be used if we make warships again. Which I doubt we will. Uh, back to Mbeso. We'll let them do its do its thing in between uh, while we're over here. God, that would not be terrifying. What the hell is that? <laughs> Have you heard? The elders have seen it all the before, though. Bishop is from the Kidusi Anitoni Monastery. So, interestingly, we actually already have some. I think that's because we probably had a festival. We have a festival here there now. Affects clay pipes, illuminated script, and lantern. Productivity 50%. Extra goods. Occasionally produces extra clay. Tobacco, wood, glasses, cotton, and glass. Residents are provided with finery, ceramics, clay pipes, and lanterns. Oh, that's nice. How long is this going to last for? 36 minutes. Oh, wow. These guys are loving life. So, we need 300, 600... A thousand for the monastery. How much is it? A thousand as well. And then we're gonna need tapestries. Now tapestries, I think, also require indigo. Yeah. So probably in the next episode, you know, we'll go over, settle another island, pack up some of the construction material we have here, and get cracking. Um, I think, uh, yeah, maybe just temporarily we'll just build up some clay on one of these far out spots. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. And with that clay, we'll make our mud bricks. I think you can have quite a lot of dry houses, actually. Oh, we need teff grass as well. Hmm. I'm assuming that these need a connection. Although, I won't connect it yet. They're not saying they do. Okay, no, they do. <laughs> Alright, good. Does that not work? I thought it does connect through. I guess not. Anyway, so that's clay, and that's going to go in here, along with the Tef grass. This is the Tef farm.
All right, cool. It's just a very lazily thrown down. It's just gonna make us some mud bricks in the background kind of thing. That. Yeah. Uh, and then in future we might just either import it or I don't know, figure something else out with another island maybe. Um, okay, so I think that might be it for today. So yeah, in the next episode we're gonna go work on indigo and then set up the ceramics workshops. We'll probably have them like somewhere in here in this dry area. Uh, same with tapestries. So indigo is going to be ferried in here on a on a route. We already have some linen. I'll have to mon monitor the production routes for all or um, production chains for all this, and then linseed as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> all right, that's going to be it for today. Um, oh yeah, last very last thing, very last thing, very last thing. Waiting course. Otherwise, I will forget. Activate the docks. Boom. And how much is that? It, no way. It can't be right. Oh, no! It's not covered by the, um... It is covered if we bring it out just a tiny bit there. Okay. Well, I'm okay with that then. That's okay. I was really panicked. I thought like, oh, no way. My perfect docks. Ruined, but it's all right. It's all good. Let's get that big crane in there. It doesn't fit. Let's get the smaller crane in there. So sure that this does fit. I guess not. Uh, so let's cancel that. So now it's going to cost almost half as much, which is nice. And it takes nine minutes. There we go. And it looks fine. It's still out to the, the right amount. This bit looks a bit, a bit strange, if I'll be honest. Don't know if that can change, can it? Yeah, it's a little bit better. There we go. A square end to it. A random tree. <laughs> Maybe um, a, a street light would be a bit better. A competitor's island is under siege. Alrighty, so that is going to be it for the end of this episode. This construction ship is, uh, or cargo ship, is going to go back to Mbessa and be one of the first ships that's going to be working on the routes uh, between the islands over there. We've got plenty of influence to build a couple of those ships. We also have. An airship, probably have an airship in each region at least, and uh, see what more we can do with them as well. They're pretty fast, and dock spaces can be a little bit of a pain in uh, in Bessa. So yeah, maybe airships would be a good call actually. All right, so that's gonna be it. Thank you very much for watching. I can't wait to read all the comments. I've I've just bulk recorded three episodes today. Uh, so I haven't got to catch the comments in two episodes so since I've built this docks basically so I'm really looking forward to it Thank you again for all the support. It really really is the best job ever basically. So thank you so much and uh, Hope you have a good day evening morning week weekend month. I'll see you next time Hey guys, thank you very much for watching and remember if you want to support this series directly You can click the join button to become a channel member doing so will get your name in the credits as well as loyalty badges and emotes to use in the comments If you don't see the join button It means the video has been copyright claimed, but you can still join from the channel page on desktop You can also link your account to our discord to get a special role on there that will give you access to the Senate house and a few other perks